Hi everybody, Lee H. Haywood here, author of The Gods and Kings Chronicles. What I'm going to show you how to do today is how to make parchment using Photoshop. The purpose of which is to overlay your fantasy map on top of. Okay, we're going to start off this process by opening up a new file. Set the width at 32, the height at 18, the resolution at 300. And then we are going to go ahead and we're going to make clouds, kind of like we've done in previous tutorials. We're going to go to Filter, we're going to go to Render, select Clouds, and then you're going to need to select a black brush. And you're going to create a square just like I'm doing here. Erase the white trim around the edge, go to Fill Layer, and then you're going to end up with a background that looks something like this. The next step is we're going to create a new file. This time set the width at 16, the height at 9. Keep the resolution at 300. Then we're going to drag and drop the large black background into our smaller frame. Once you've done that, select just the background. We're going to create a new layer. Title this layer Crosshatch. And then we're going to fill it with a brown color. I've developed a swatch set for this. Um, you'll see it right there in the bottom right hand corner. Um, you can also see the number that I'm using there on the page as well. Once you have your color filling, you're going to go to filter. You're going to go to noise, add noise. And then you're going to select filter again. and you're going to select Crosshatch. All right, it's time to create a third layer. Let's title this layer Dots. You'll see that there's gonna be a different color again that I'm gonna place in here. Go to Render, Clouds. Then we're going to go back to Filter. We're going to add Noise. And then what we're going to do now is we're just going to select different dots on here and we're just going to color it using some of the different browns that are available in our swatch set. The purpose of this is to kind of give it a rustic, dirtier looking color. Once we have this thoroughly bespeckled, we're going to now create a fourth layer. Same deal as before, you're going to fill the full layer with a new color. Then you're going to go to Filter, you're going to go to Artistic, and you're going to do Paint Dobbs. Then you're going to go to Brush Strokes, and you're going to do Crosshatch. And then please name this layer Paint Daub. All right, we're going to create a fifth layer now. Fill it with the color that you see there on the screen. Go to Filter, Texture. And then you're going to set this at sandstone. Same deal as before. You may want to play with the settings to get the texture you want. I put mine at 118% for scaling. I put the relief at 9.
and then we're going to title this layer sandstone. Go ahead and create a new layer. Let's title this layer burlap. Again, fill the layer with the new color. We're going to go to filter, add noise. We're going to render clouds. And then we're going to go to texture. And for this one, we're going to set the texture to burlap. And now we're going to create another layer and we're going to title this one cow spots. We're just going to render clouds on this. We're going to do the fill layer so that we end up with the cow spots like we did earlier. Now this time we're going to color the cow spots dark brown. Now select the eraser tool and erase the edges on some of the cow spots so that they blend in with the background. Now create a new layer. Title this new layer Water Spots. I'm going to turn off the visibility on all the other layers, so I'm looking only at this layer. I'm going to render clouds, and then I'm going to use a filler in brush to create just spots around the maps and or then erase the empty space. Now when I go to fill layer and I create cow spots again, this time the cow spots are just going to be localized in these places. Now go ahead and select only the black spots on the page. You're going to create a new layer over it. And then you're going to select the darkest brown in the color swatch set. And you're just going to paint the outside edge of some of these spots. The purpose of this would be to create a hard break between the parchment and where we look like we have a stain on the paper. You're going to have to mess with the opacity a little to get it right. I set it at 11. I then turned off the black cow spot layer, so it's just the brown spots on top. Select the next layer down, which is cow spots, set the opacity at 10%. Select burlap, set the opacity 25%. Select sandstone. For sandstone, we're going to set this at 26. For paint daub, I set it at 27 for the dots layer I set it at 52 for the crosshatch layer I set it at 50 and then for the final black layer keep it at 100% and the end result looks like this so if you would like to download the swatch set or the parchment it's available download at leehaywood.com in a future tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take the map we started making in my map tutorial 1 and 2 and how to overlay it on top of this, and we'll start moving towards the finished product. Don't forget to pick up a copy of The Guardian. It's available now wherever ebooks are sold. And I'll see you all next time for tutorial number 4.